Welcome to Quarantine Kitchen. But, but we're not in the normal kitchen. No, we are in the technology center, and this is the technology edition it is. And of Quarantine you know, Kitchen. And you know what? We don't need to be wearing masks. We don't. We don't. Because the good news is that we're moving towards reopening. We hope so. That'll be awesome. Yeah. So the technology edition goes like this. You approached me because you had something that you had for a while. Have you ever bought something that you intended to use? It looked neat. You got it as a gift and then you... No, I bought it. I didn't get it as a gift. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got this thing called sous vide or sous vu or sous vide. Anyway, it's a way to cook. I got it as a gift and I think it's been three years. And it's supposed to be really good. So in the technology edition today, you're gonna to teach me. I am. And, and what, great, what's it really called? It's called sous vide. And the great thing about it is this. You can cook something at a precise temperature, get it there, keep it there, and then go do something else. Because it cooks slowly? Well, it doesn't cook safely. slowly, it cooks safely. So I want you to think of the technology like this. These are placed in a plastic bag in a water bath. The water bath is at the precise temperature. Like, I like my steaks medium rare. So when you say steaks medium rare to your local steak place, that hopefully we'll be able to go out too soon, what do you just tell them? Do you tell them medium rare or do you give them a temperature? I tell them medium rare. I tell them 134 degrees Fahrenheit. I get mine medium rare. How does yours turn out? <laughs> medium rare, precisely, because medium rare is a temperature because it's put in this big, what they call a salamander, at 1800 degrees and they say, well, medium rare is about five minutes and then it comes out. I see. And sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. But we can cook more than just steak. Okay, here it goes, into the bag. Yes. And we're gonna add some olive oil. But not just any olive oil. <laughs> Never just any olive oil. There's only one olive oil you can use for these. Chopin's. It's very hard for people to get. So what do we have? You've got a tub that I could have got at Costco. Right, and you should. And you've got water. That I got out of the sink. Right. But you brought this thing, what right. is this? So this is one of the types of units that keeps this water at a precise temperature. This is the one I have, I know this is strange, I have four sous vide units. So this is my favorite of the four that I've had. And this is called a jewel, it's made by Chef Steps, it's been bought out by Breville. But what I like about it is, it has 1,200 watts, which means it will heat water faster because most units are about 800 watts. It also has this neat little app, which I have on my phone. And the advantage of the app is I can dial in the temperature. It will tell me when it reaches that temperature and I can put everything in it. So we could be cooking because it's not going to be something we have to watch. Right. And we could be sitting by the pool right. and let the technology tell us it's time to come back. And here's the thing. It's at 134 degrees. It's not gonna change, so it's not going to overcook. When so, you put something in an oven at 350, at some point it rises to that temperature that you want it, and you've got maybe five minutes, and then after that it gets- Hotter. And worse. I see. And we don't like that. So you either have to be a whiz with your own oven and know I need to take it out at 23 minutes, which is what I do with my rack of lamb, but you have to know that about your oven. If you don't know it, you can overcook it. And I found this out because we have a type of patient, our weight loss surgery patients, who often have a little tiny anastomosis and if things in that anastomosis or that stomach are small, things get stuck. So is this a way to cook food and have it more tender right. and easier for our patients? to be able to eat without the necessary fear of it got stuck. That's right, because this keeps it moist, because as food's temperature goes up and up and up, it dries out. The little meat, the little proteins unravel, they lose their water, and it just gets like shoe leather. So this is how to cook something low and slow. So we can put it in now, we can go off and not even think about it for an hour or two or three, it's still cooking, it's gonna be fine. Excellent. So let's show you how simple it is to do steaks. So what we have, you've set us up with our seasoning, because I, it's not spice, it's seasoning. Right. We have salt, we have pepper, we've got some olive oil. And we, we have, have the device we're gonna put in. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to these and I'll let you pepper them. 
once again, this is an easy type of recipe. Even I can do it. And now we're gonna flip them. These are not real thick steaks either. No, because if you have really thick steaks, you can do thick steaks, they just have to be done longer because the temperature has to reach them. And once again, you're, you're, pep, you're salting, and I shouldn't be afraid of how much you're salting. No, because all this is gonna do is help draw the moisture out. It's gonna end up at the bottom of the bag. Excellent. Next thing we're gonna do speaking is- Speaking of hold the bag. bag. Speaking of the bag. So this is what it's gonna cook in. Right. So this has, we've already sealed the bottom and we're getting ready to put it in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in. We're gonna put it into a vacuum seal. But before I do it, I'm gonna add some olive oil to it. But not just any olive oil. No, of course not. We don't use just any olive oil. We use the Chopin's, Oroville, California. And Chopin is? Masood, the world famous resident. Who someday you may be able to have him take care of you. Okay, so just a dash of olive oil. And that will just help displace some of the air and we're gonna then seal it in your fancy sealer. We have fancy sealers, but we could use other things. Right, and we're gonna show you that and the other things. So let's put this over here. Okay. So the sealer is gonna seal and suck out the air. Right. There we go. Okay, lock it. It's moist because it has some olive oil in it, but not just any olive oil. And as you see, it's sucking the air out. So it's sealed. Virtually all the air is gone. And the idea is you want the water to be in contact with all parts of that. If you have an air bubble, you don't have that good bit of heat transfer. And see, the nice thing about this is if it's just you and I, we would have two much larger steaks, of course. And we would could just use a small pot like this and put that in. We don't have to use a big bucket. Okay. You also said we could do this with a Ziploc. This right. is going to be a little bit different, but I've got here a one gallon Ziploc if you don't have that. So it starts out the same, the steak's been seasoned. In goes the olive oil. But not just any olive oil. The Chopin olive oil. And this is all gonna be displacement in water. So we're gonna put it in here. Okay, so, but I haven't sealed it yet. We don't need to. We're actually not going to seal it at all. We're gonna put it in. And what happens is, as we put this in, you can see that the air is going out of it. And the, not just any olive oil, is doing that. And we can just clip it on to the end, end of this, just like that. So it doesn't need to be zipped. You don't need, yeah, you don't have to have. So you don't need a fancy food sealer. You just need zip blocks. But this is the technology session. So we have a fancy food sealer. Okay. This is the app. Yep, this is the app they have. They have a lot of recipes. I can stop it, tells me when the water started, when it heated. I can set a timer because I know in 45 minutes these will be done. And we know that why? Because we've experimented on this many, many times before. So I can put it in for 45 minutes and set the timer. It will let me know when it's done. I see. But here's the thing. If it's in here another hour, it won't matter. It'll be perfectly cooked. Then what we're gonna do is just simply sear them about 90 seconds aside and we'll have steak. And what kind of vegetable are you planning on adding to this? That's mm -hmm. a good question. So the technology lets us leave the kitchen. You said it's not gonna overcook. Not at all. I think it's a nice warm day. It's a California sunshine day. We're in Ojai. There's a swimming pool, empty glass. We're good to go. Let's go. How long do we let it charge? So the advantage of this is... It's... So the advantage of this is once the reaction is complete, we'll be able to take it off. So see if you can pull it off. Yep, go ahead. And there you go. Those are those nice grill marks. And the grill marks are where you have all the reaction. Now, some people like to put an entire pan down and get a huge bit of char all over it. That's not necessary. Not necessary, no. Well, he was right. Perfect, medium rare, perfect.